it's your girl Danae Randine and today boy do I have a dupe video for you all and I would say in my most humble opinion that this has got to be the dupe video to end all dupe videos at least on items that are meant to be a dupe for exactly what I describe in the title. So if you read the title, then you'll know that this, what I'm gonna show you today is actually a dupe for the Hermes Birkin. Now I'm not saying it is an exact dupe, but I would say it is pretty spot on. And the reason I wouldn't go so far as to say that it is an exact dupe is because I of course don't casually own a 10,000 to seven figure Hermes Birkin to compare it to. But based on the photos and the videos that I've seen, I would say it's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good. And surely it's one of the better ones that I've seen of this item. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, her. And I say her, honey, because she is that girl. She is that chick get into it are y'all into this like get into the details so first and foremost you all see that this has white stitching gold hardware so let's talk specs right the seller describes this color just as a brown so here's the thing they showed brown as an option, but I didn't just want just brown. So normally the way that the bags come is that the stitching would be the exact same color as the bag. So instead of it having white stitching, it would just have brown stitching that matches the exact same tone and color and shade as this bag. I didn't want that. I had seen pictures of um, bags with the white stitching and I just think it looks superior like the quality is crisp it is clean and I just wanted the white stitching so the seller did not seem right at least on the onset to have the white stitching they just said brown and so I messaged the seller I sent them pictures and I asked do you all have the one with white stitching Fortunately, they were able to get in contact with their supplier, share the pictures that I had sent them. Then they got back to me with their photos and confirmed that they do, in fact, have the white stitching. Now, here's the problem, right? The photos on the reviews that I had seen, no one had one with white stitching. So I just wasn't sure what that was going to look like. So first and foremost, shout out to the people who go ahead and not only post reviews, but post reviews with pictures. Y'all are the MVP. Y'all are really the MVP. You know what? Let me go ahead and toot my own horn because I am that person that tends to post reviews with photos. And I'm not talking about those photos photos that are the photos of the item still in its packaging. Why do y'all do that? Why do y'all post with the item still in its packaging? I'm not trying to see a review of the packaging. I'm trying to see a review of the product. Okay, and it's just really hard for me to go ahead and make initial purchases if I'm just seeing reviews of the packaging like I'm trying to see the item <laughs> rant over but shout out to the people who actually post reviews and photos so the problem is I never saw one of the reviews or one of the photos in which someone had a white stitched bag so while the photos of the OG bags with the same um, colored stitching looked great I just thought, okay, maybe this might look a little janky. Maybe the white stitching will make it look off. I don't know, but I had high hopes anyway. So I waited and when I got it, I was not disappointed. As mentioned, there is nothing out of place. This is a 35 centimeter, which in inches translates to 14.8 inches, right? And so this is 14.8 inches wide with white stitching gold hardware so <laughs> this is not usually how i carry it right this is just too much to get into if i'm out and about who wants to have to do all of this but for the purposes of show and tell i have it how you know some folks normally structure it um so i'll go ahead and show you you would just go ahead 
and take off the lock I didn't want to lock it because that would be too much to unlock and so just like there is a lock there is actually a key that's right here that unlocks this lock here if you were to completely secure it now what you would go ahead and do is take off each of these so make sure the toggle is in the right direction and you could take them off one by one after you do that you could take it off raise one flap raise another that removes it from the toggle lift this side and release the third flap which would then open it to look like this this is actually my preferred method of where is for it to be as wide and as open as it is here and the reason that is is if I were to wear it like this it actually gives me the opportunity to fit my laptop and notebook and organizer and a host of other things that I would want to fit in it so as mentioned 35 centimeters which is 14.8 inches it also has the gold hardware, the gold legs or feet or whatever you would like it to call it at the bottom and the white stitching at the bottom as well, which is so impeccable if you ask me. There is nothing out of place. Like, look at that detail. It is spot on. And if you're wondering, what are these little feet for? So the reason why these little feet are important is because it basically protects your bag if you were to place it on the ground. So even if you place it on the ground, these are slightly elevated, as you can see, off of the bag so that if you place it, your bag itself and the leather would not actually touch the ground. So good, right? And so it has that detail, not to mention on the side, you can see the white stitching as well to give it a second to just focus you can see the white stitching on the side and so when you open it this is what you see one of my favorite things about these bags is that the interior matches the exterior perfect it's the same color now I'm sure you've all had those bags where it's beautiful outside but on the inside there's just some random fabric pattern it's just off like the outside of the bag looks completely beautiful but the interior just looks whack this is not one of those bags so Here's something that you would actually probably like to know is that while the exterior is genuine cowhide leather, the interior is synthetic. And so that was something that the seller was forthright about, right? They told me that from the very beginning that while the exterior is cowhide, the interior is synthetic. That does not bother me one bit. And the reason that it doesn't bother me is because the only one that's seeing the interior of this bag is me, right? So it doesn't matter what the interior looks like. Not to mention that I'd actually be using a handbag organizer for this the vast majority of the time, so it doesn't matter. So of course, this comes with its own Okay, it's actually hard to demonstrate that on camera, but as you can see, you can go ahead and close this up. It's nicely stitched inside, so you have a zipper here, you have an open aspect here, um, and you could go ahead and wear it either way, either completely locked up where you could use this lock or opened up like this, which is my preferred style. So let's talk cost. So the bag itself is about $57 and then the shipping is about $26 because it's coming from China. So the shipping is a little bit on the higher side, but let's put it into perspective. For genuine cowhide leather for a bag to be under $100, not bad at all and not bad at all if you do ask me. And I have a friend who is absolutely obsessed with leather so how do i know that it's genuine because she's obsessed and she has many leather goods and so she every time she comes she's like i smell the leather okay so and i smell it as well too 
I smell it as well too. Like it is genuine cowhide leather, at least on the exterior. The interior is not, but like I said, it's not a bother because it's still perfection. Everything is nicely stitched together. It fits so much. Okay, so I just wanted to show you a few other colors that I got because they have over 20 something colors. So one of my favorite colors happens to be blue, um, more of a royal blue. And the reason why that is, is because I was born in September and my birthstone is a sapphire. So because of that, I just live for blue. Okay, I live for blue. And so I got this baby right here. At first I expected it to be a bit lighter, but I don't mind this at all. She's gorgeous, same thing, 35 centimeter gold hardware. I'm a 35 centimeter gal, I'm a gold hardware gal, so the vast majority of what you see will be gold hardware, um, and the vast majority will be 35 centimeters. In another video, I wanna go ahead and show you some of my 30 centimeters, but for now, the 35 works. Please excuse um, the lawn mowing that's going on. The gardeners are here at my building doing work. So apologies for that if you can hear it, which I'm pretty sure you can because I can. Um, yes, so this is a beautiful, beautiful bag. Same thing, a genuine cowhide leather. I love this one so much. Just like the other one, I went ahead and added a nice twilly. So this is what you would call a twilly. And then this is just one of the horse accessories, much like Hermes has. But honey, it's not Hermes. It is Ali. Okay, Ali, if you want to be bougie. <laughs> I just cracked myself up at that. But yes, so I could go ahead and include the links for the twilly and for the accessory right here. But like I said, same 35 centimeters, gold hardware, perfection. You don't need to see the interior. The interior is the exact same color as this. And I'll show you one more, which is this beautiful, beautiful bubblegum pink color. I live. When I tell you I live, when I first got it, I was shook it at the vibrance of this color. It is so vibrant. It is so, so vibrant. Beautiful. The first thing that I thought of, though, was Pepto Bismol. That was literally the first thing that I thought of. When I would say, if you wanted to describe this color to anyone, I would say this is a Pepto Bismol color. <laughs> it is so good, so pretty. Um, and exactly what you see it on camera look like is what it looks like in person. Now, I think it was this one that I accidentally scuffed. Yeah, so I accidentally scuffed it. I don't know if you could even tell. You probably can't even tell from here, to be honest. But I accidentally scuffed it, but it did pretty well. It held up. Uh, let's get it back into focus. So it held up pretty well, um, same thing, I added a horse and a twilly to it, but yeah, you really can't beat it. So as I was saying, it's about $56 for the bag, $25 for shipping. It comes so quick. Like I said, I've ordered a few, and so different ones took different amount of times. I'm not sure why that is, especially if it's the same supplier, but for the most part, everything comes in about a week and a half. The vast majority of these items, I have a few, like I mentioned, but I certainly can't show them in one video. But for the ones that I do have, they came for the most part within a week and a half. Only a few took maybe two to three weeks and that's the more specialized ones that I would ask for. So like when I would ask for the white stitching. And so let me go ahead and show you that actually so that you all could understand what I'm talking about. So normally these bags would come like this where it's the same color, the stitching is the exact same color as the bag, right? As you can see here and here. The white stitching, as I mentioned that I wanted, is different in that it is white stitching versus being the exact same color as the bag. And you can see the difference right here. 
I'm not saying the quality is less than um, or greater than maybe I am a little bit because while I love the same colored stitching there's just something eh. <laughs> you didn't see that struggle but there's just something that gets me with this white stitching right here perfection so I will go ahead and put the link down below now this is a link that I've asked the seller to create for people who watch this video in particular and the reason that is is because of I guess how good these are I don't know Aliexpress has a habit of doing that when something is of quality they don't last long so if you see it get it because the seller sometimes would have to create a new storefront or will have to you know no longer list them so they could list them only for vip customers so at this point i'm counted as a vip customer so i have my own link based on the fact that i've shopped before and i could shop again and they took down their public facing link right so that anyone could find it or purchase from them so now it's only vip but your girl went ahead and asked them to create a link just for you all who watch this video um, and you could go ahead and buy them that way now if you're like me and want the white stitching brown you would have to go ahead and specify to the seller so they have brown listed but if you want this one with white stitching you would have to go ahead and send them a message let them know and like I said under a hundred dollars 35 centimeters genuine cowhide leather with a synthetic interior and it's just it's perfection like chef's kiss it's perfection no one is saying that it is exact but it's pretty darn good for under a hundred dollars so if you want to go ahead and purchase please go ahead and click the link down below in my bio and please do not forget to like comment and subscribe all right bye bye now